Hello, so quite a few people have told me that I'm wrong to think that air fresheners are a organic vapour. Lots of people have told me that they're actually a particulate, so I thought we could test that in this video. So you can see on my Israeli M15 respirator or gas mask, I have a Scott P3 or a P100 filter. So the highest level of particulate protection filter you can have on. However, there is no charcoal in this, it is literally a heap of particulate filter. So what I'm going to do in this video is spray some various air fresheners and I'll see if I can smell them. Because as far as I'm aware, they're organic vapour, not actual particulates in an air freshener. There may be partic particles as well as organic vapour, so I will smell them regardless. Because I would need a charcoal layer in the filter to block the smell of them. So obviously, some people are going to complain already that they won't be able to um, check if this is valid because obviously they can't smell through the screen, but whatever. So, first we're going to try some lavender air freshener. I'm going to spray some into the room, and let's see if I can smell it. I've got a bit of a smell coming through there. Let me spray some more, give it a good shake first in case it's a bit heavy. Yeah, I can definitely smell that now. So, the lavender air freshener has compromised the mask. Now, does it say on here what's actually in this other than solvent abuse can kill? No, I don't think it says the ingredients there, but there you go, solvent abuse can kill, whatever. So, I could smell the lavender air freshener. So we know that there's definitely more than particles in there because they've compromised the mask and the mask works. Next up, we've got some pine air freshener. So let's spray this. Oh, I can smell pine air freshener. That's weird, isn't it? It's almost like there's an organic vapour in here and not particles. Does it again say what's in here? I don't think it actually does, but there's all the text. This says contains limonene, uh, but it doesn't say what's in it other than it's flammable. So, again, this obviously contains organic vapour, not particles, because I can smell them through the mask. Right, now let's try some brute deodorant. Will I be able to smell this through the mask? Let's find out. I'm not actually smelling this yet, let me spray some more. Pretty sure I'm picking that up now. Again, because there's so many other smells in here, it's hard to, um, you know, smell everything. But, again, if you look at the ingredients list, there's a lot of stuff in there. Some of this probably is particulates, but again, not all of it is. And the stuff that isn't particulates, you're going to be able to smell through the mask. So, what I've decided here is obviously the particulate filter is not doing much to stop the smell. So let me take this particle filter off. And that smell is just as strong. Now, I get a stronger brute smell now. So obviously, with the uh, actual deodorants, not the air freshener, obviously the bit you spray under your arm is meant to linger there. So that will be the particulate. But it's not just a particulate that sprays out. It's not like a foam or a powder that comes out. It's actually, you know, a spray. So by taking this filter off, you know, I've, I've only eliminated one small bit of odour, all the things I can still smell. So particle filters don't do anything against air fresheners. Now, I'm going to close the door of this room and come straight back. Um, I'll just stop the video here, so you have to believe me this stuff's still in the air. And now I'm going to put um, a proper filter on containing charcoal, and we'll see if the smell goes away. As of the moment, I can still smell everything in this room, so let's put on this old mask pole Polish filter. Let's just purge the mask. I can't really block the exhale valve on this mask. Oh look, the smells have gone, that's weird, isn't it? 
So yeah, I think this video should hopefully prove as much as people are still going to doubt it that the majority, majority of deodorants and air fresheners and things like that are not just smelly particulates, there's organic vapour in there. So, yes, uh, for, the, for the sake of this video, particulate filters do not block the smell of air fresheners and lots of chemicals like that. I think most people knew that, but I've had lots of people say, you can't use an air freshener with gas mask because the particles are too small to get around the mask. I don't know what sort of voice that was, but... You know, the point is that with this filter on I can't smell anything again. If I take the filter off I can smell stuff, so therefore, you know, that's a valid test using it that way. Now let's just get the banana oil to back up what I was saying. Okay, the isomyl acetate, aka banana oil. So... Okay, so I can't smell that through, obviously, a particulate and a charcoal filter, but if I take that off... I get a really strong smell of varnishy banana oil smell. So, again, this just goes to the point that, you know, you need charcoal in a filter, and that these sort of smells can get around the mask if there's a gap in it. So to prove that point, let me just put this filter back on. Try and do it with one hand. There we go. Okay, so now let's uh, get the banana oil out. Let's do it here. Right, I can't smell the banana oil. So now let's just undo this strap so the mask hopefully will hang off my face a bit. Right, let's just do it like that, so. I can't even get the seal away from my face properly now. Um, let's just do the other bottom strap as well. Okay, that's the mask away there. Oh look, I can smell the banana oil. So, the point I'm getting at here is, again, I still don't see why uh, using deodorants and air fresheners and things like that, especially if they're strong smelling ones in a confined space, don't work well. Again, isomyl acetate banana oil is better, I'll definitely agree with that, because the smell is really strong. Uh, and it's a lot easier just to hold a bottle of this underneath a filter or around the gaps of a mask to tell if the um, you know mask's made a good seal. So, you know, in that regard, I think, you know, isomyl acetate is a lot better. However, lots of people don't have this stuff, and it's not always the cheapest thing to buy in some areas of the world. It took me a while to find an eBay seller that actually had it in stock. And again, you're still paying like £7 for a bottle of this size. So, air fresheners for most people are just as useful. Now, again, you need to make sure you're spraying something that is um, a proper aerosol and in a confined enough space that, you know, it's smelly enough and you're in a confined enough space that it's going to smell properly. But, um, you know, it still works. So, again, this goes to the point, doesn't it, that these things are not particulates and don't listen to anybody who starts trying to lecture you on this stuff who has no idea what they're talking about. As I said, I'm definitely not an expert on these subjects. I just like to do videos on them. But, you know, through trial and error, uh, most of the stuff I say tends to be true. Because if I find something's not true, I'm not going to keep repeating it. So, you know, if I had the particulate filter on, I sprayed all those air fresheners and the smell wouldn't go through, I'd be like, wow, actually, they are particulates then, aren't they? There's no vapour in there. But, you know, you can test that really easily, can't you? Oh, look, they go through the particle filter, but suddenly when there's another mask with a P3 filter on that's got organic... Sorry, that's got charcoal in it that stops organic vapours. I can't smell anything again. So there, you've, therefore, you know it's a charcoal section that's you know removing the vapour from the air you're breathing. So there we go. Hopefully that uh, you know corrects people who are saying that air fresheners and deodorants and things are all particles. I'm sure maybe you can find a spray somewhere that is only a particulate, but I'm yet to see or smell one. 